everyone, Chris here with PSN Stores. So while I was away from uh, my computer and my capture setup all throughout January, uh, the new PlayStation Store got launched in Japan. And with that, uh, I guess people don't know how to navigate where things are now because it's the, the new store and not the old layout. So I thought I'd give a little walkthrough of uh, how to get to where and how to find what. So basically the welcome screen is pretty much like the US store, it's just showcasing content. Uh, you still don't have access to the video store if you don't have a Japanese IP. So some of the stuff uh, won't load if you try to click on it, like if I try to see Prometheus, it'll tell me I can't see it. Uh, but you're really not going to go there ever. Uh, so first up we have game, the game section of the store. Game top is just uh, the like weekly deals and some of the new stuff that came out that they're showcasing. Uh, pretty much like the U.S. store's welcome screen. Uh, below that is promotions and campaigns, so there are weekly promotions they're running and stuff like that. So I guess now there's one for getting uh, buying stuff from the new store will get you some money. Um, PlayStation Plus deals, stuff like that, and then sa also sales that are running right now. So I guess there's a golf sale and stuff like that. Some of these aren't adding. I don't know if there's things that are supposed to be there or what, but. Uh, below that is new content, so this is where you'll find new game content. This is the, the meat of where you're going to want to be. So to get to there again, you go to game, and you go down to, and that's new game content. First up is just like welcome screen, like everything else on the new store, just showing new stuff that came out. Below that is new games, and this is the past two weeks. So let's hop into the, this is all the games that have been released on the store in the past two weeks. You can filter it, like on the US store by genre, so like action games, RPGs, uh, simul uh, shooting games. Uh, you can also do by the, the game system, so PS3 games, Vita, and PS uh, portable. Uh, what kind of content it is, so if you want a disc-based download game, if you want a Vita game, uh, download content, like a download-only game, that sort of stuff. This is the price range. Uh, the first one is free, and the others are denominations of yen. Uh, this is where if you want to go for the past month, past 30 days, sorry, and the past week, so to see stuff that came out this week on the store, you do this. These are all the new games that came out for the past week. And uh, again, you can sort by like alphabetical title, uh, price, cheapest, that sort of stuff. So below that on the list is the, the new add-on stuff. And same thing as before, you can filter by can filter it by genre, what a system it is, how much it costs, when it came out. And these ones are different types of things, like if you want, these are uh, in-game items, uh, characters, uh, okay, so besides that, So we got games, add-ons, the next one below is demo, so this is the past two weeks again. Not much there. So uh, new game demos are here. And this just lists everything all in one list. So if you want to go here, you can filter it by the, like the content type here. So we got, uh, I thought there was really a good DLC, that sort of thing. So I guess this is where you do that. So if you want to find only the promotional videos, the new trailers release, you do PV. Uh, let's see if there's any other themes or anything like that. I don't see the one for theme. I don't know if any themes were released last week anyway. Um, so below this is the rankings and they, they break it into PS3, Vita, PSP, and Game Archives which are the PSP or PS1 classics and PS2 games and PC Engine titles. So you can see they do theirs a little bit differently. They have a one to three, six through 10, and then like top 20s. They do top 20s for theirs, except for the in-game archives. Same thing with Vita, top three, uh, four through nine, and then 10 through 20. One thing that is different is that the game archives, they do like a genre category. So the top three RPGs, top three action games, and top three simulation titles. 
Okay, below that is where you start to get into the, the PS3 stuff, like PS3 specific content. So here's the welcome screen again. Below that is all the new games. So this is PS3 games. You can sort by new games. And then uh, they have different categories, like uh, these ones are download only. So these are like PSN titles. Western games, I believe these ones are games that are from Western developers. Uh, this, one, this is a special Sega category. I guess there's a Sega sale going on. And then Neo Geo Station games are found here. And then you can break it up into categories like RPGs, uh, puzzle games, that sort of stuff. Online passes are the next thing below in the PS3 category. Then you have your DLC, demos, uh, custom themes, and wallpapers. This is for your custom themes. These are for your wallpapers. The quickest way I've found to find dynamic themes is sorting by price. So I didn't notice a dynamic uh, setting over here. So if you go to the price and go between $2 and $3.50, I think that's where you'll find most of the dynamic themes. So we can see, let me find one here. This is a dynamic one, right? Skyrim dynamic theme right here. So I think most of the dynamic themes are placed between two to 50 and 350. So if there's a quicker way, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm not sure really. Below that are avatars, uh, trailers, and finally applications and play view uh, strategy guides. So play view guides are found here. So if you're into that Tokyo jungle play view guide, that's where to find it. Much is the same for the Vita. You got the new stuff, the games, and they're broken up into new games and uh, just every game. And then again, by genre. Online passes again, DLC, demos, and applications. PSP is pretty much the same as the PS3, the welcome screen, games. Come on, load. But this time we have uh, all games, UMD Passport titles, Western games are actually PS minis that they port, like they, they ported to like a PSP file because there aren't minis in Japan for some reason, and then Neo Geo Station again, and then your genres. Below that are online passes, DLC, demos, custom themes and wallpapers, and then applications and more play view stuff. Uh, last, we have, second to last, we have game archives, which is your PS1 classics. You can see some of the ones that are they're spotlighting. Uh, their game digging is a section of videos that showcase titles. It's a whole bunch of those if you want to find some stuff. So if you want to see the new games, they're here. PS1 titles are found here. PS2 titles are here. PC Engine games are here, and then genre stuff. Last but not least in the game section is the, the game companies. You can sort by game company. So if you want to find titles made by Capcom, if this ever loads, let's see if we can get it to load. All right, here we go. So here you can sort by a uh, game company. Come on, bring the list over. Slowly trying to work here. But it gives you a, a alphabetical list. Like here we go, okay. So if I wanna find Capcom, I go to Ka for Capcom. And it should bring out a list of all the devs. And let's find Capcom. There we go. And here's all Capcom's games and you can sort them by demos, if they have any play view guides, avatars, custom themes, that sort of stuff. So if you know the company, it's kind of uh, helpful. But then you have to know Japanese alphabet, which might not be most of you. Uh, PlayStation Plus has its own section here, in which you can find uh, stuff they're highlighting. Free to play games, which is your instant game collection here. And it, it's kind of interesting for them. They show the ones that are out now. And they also show previous titles, so ones you could have had if you had this, the if you had PlayStation Plus before. Let's see where we're going. We're running so slow right now. Other than that, they have uh, game for like one hour trials, like we do. Um, uh, these are the discounts if you have Plus in Japan, and then specials. 
Uh, below that's your download list and code redemption. One thing of note for the Japanese store is that the search is like the old search. It's not the, the spinning wheel that takes hours to find content that you want. So uh, a quick hint for Japanese store browsing, if you want to use English alphabet, hit the select button on your controller three times. So let's try to find pixel junk. Pretty sure you can search them by English. Search for pixel and yeah, we got some pixel junk stuff. So then you can sort like you could before which system it's on, that sort of stuff. So I hope this is helpful for everybody that's using the new Japanese store. Uh, if you have any questions about it, I'll happily answer them in the comments below on psnstores.com. I don't know if I'll be checking YouTube comments that often. So go to PSN stores, find the, there should be a link in the YouTube description uh, for the, the post. Leave your comments in there and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Hopefully this video makes it easier to browse the Japanese store for you. Thanks a lot.